Do I smile or do I? Whatever you want, just be you. Money. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? How are you doing? Good, good, good. How's, it, how's the barbershop? It's pretty good, man. Uh, been coming to the school for going on a year now. About almost done. Got about 350 hours to go. I've been cutting hair for so busy, so tired after work. 17 years now. Oh, 17 years? 17 years. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, that's why you look like uh, the last circle that I saw. Yeah. It was really nice. And, oh, thank you, man. So you already, you already got it. So you've done this for, for a while, you, yeah. You need your license too, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's main nice. reason why I'm yeah. here. So once I'm done with school, uh, Wait, what is it? Probably won't pursue like a getting into a barbershop right off the like back. A, I'll probably take some time off, invest some time to my family. But once I give that time back to them, uh, I'm gonna pursue and to open up my own shop. Be my own, be my own boss, man. Be your own boss. That's good. That's, that's the goal. Yeah, that is the goal. Why you decide to be in a barber? How old are you? Because you love to do this. Man, when I was when I was about 13 years old, I got really into bald fades, and I kept getting them every single week. And the lady that would cut my hair, she would charge $25. She would charge $25, and uh, it got to the point where my dad was like, "Look, either I cut your hair, or or I take you somewhere else. I can't do $25 a week." So I was like, "All right, well that's fine." So I figured, how hard could it be to cut hair? I picked up clippers for the first time, started cutting my own hair. I did very bad, but I kept trying. And after about a year, I figured out how to do a full fade. And from there, I started cutting my brother's hair, my dad's hair, my cousin's hair. Next thing you know, I'm cutting hair at school, and it was pretty good. So it definitely took off like that. And by the time I was 18, I was on crossroads whether I should do, uh, you know, pursue being a barber or try to get into a trade. And my dad didn't really want me to be a barber, so. I got into AC work and I've been doing that for a long time too, but uh, now I get to do what I love and that's cutting hair. Now I, you know, I'm paying for my own school, so it doesn't get better than that. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. Everybody, we have different reasons why we came about this. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. All right, man. Let's see. Let's, let's show me your station. Show me. Okay, so these are this is so this is uh this is the way you set up your station. This is where I set up my station. It's the easiest for me. I like the wall premium guards. I could do most of my fades just with these three guards. With these three guys, you can do a fade. Just about almost the, all my all my blending is done with these three. Wow. Um, but I'm I'm leaning towards the stylecraft uh, guards now. They're pretty good. I just don't like how these work. The zero and the one. Why you like them? They just feel like they're too, they're too bulky. Like the zero compared to this zero, just I feel like I get a lot tighter with this one. Uh, but never, yeah, just specifically for the fade. But I mean, nevertheless, I still use them up to the three. About two and three is kind of where I uh, go up to. But for the most part, everything's done with these. And then uh, these are my babies right here. So I got. The Babylus, yeah, Babylus. The these are the when these first dropped, man. I bought these. These are the original ones right here, man. So I've had these for, yeah, I think almost eight years. I've had these for a long time, yeah. So I've, I've changed out the blade once, and they hit. They hit really good. They've always worked really good. How much did it cost you? Like 160 at the time. I don't know what they go for now. But I know they got the. Yeah, now they're expensive. I got these right here, style, the Stylecraft Flex. What's the name? Stylecraft Flex. This is actually became my favorite brand pretty quickly. They come out with a lot of good tools. Cordless. Yeah, so this one's really good. Hits really sharp. Uh, the battery life is not too, not too, too good on them. But nevertheless, as long as you got the charger with you, leave it on the dock and the charger is good. Uh, these are the clippers that the Rebels, Stylecraft Rebels, these are the ones that actually got me into Stylecraft. And uh, they're, um, these are just like really, really good clippers all the way around. I like these, and then I could do a lot of haircuts with these. But these are my favorite ones. These are the Onyx JRL. And these things are a masterpiece. They're perfect. They're good. They're quiet. That's on right there. That's on right there? That's on right there. Do you know the name of the company? JRL. Yeah, this yeah. is actually my favorite clipper right now. So How much you pay for that one? This is 200 bucks. 200 bucks. How long have you bought it? I just got these. They just oh, dropped. Yeah. So I've had the original JRLs. Oh, okay. And those were really good. I had those for about two, three years. No, two years. I've, they came out 2020. 
I bought those and I had them for a while. And then when they came out the Onyx, I bought them. These just came out this year. Is it this year or late last year? But man, these are these are perfect. These are great. They're quiet. They're strong. Strong clippers. And then these are my new babies, Stylecraft Instinct Dex. These are the perfect clipper right here. They're expensive though. Very, very powerful. I could do all of my cuts. I've actually I've been doing all of my haircuts with this one. That's like haircuts, fades, everything. tapers, fades, tapers, bursts. Wow. Everything, man. I could debulk with these. These are just extremely powerful clippers. They're very strong. They're very sharp. They're they hit. They they're perfect. These so are good. It. How much is the price for them? Three hundred though. Oh, they're not man, for, man. for for what the oh, for okay. what they cost. It's not it's not very friendly to people that are new to the oh, to cutting okay. hair. But if you so could buy them, oh yeah, if you could buy them, I highly recommend it. But again, three hundred dollars to me that's a lot of money. Buy them, go ahead and buy them. Otherwise, you know, you can get these right here, the Rebels. They go for like $140, $150. And actually, no, nah, they're probably a little bit more. They're probably like closer to $180, but nevertheless, they're good. Yeah, I think you can cut it.